Welcome to Schumann's Modeling, and on the bench next we have the Polar Lights NX01-1357 scale model from the uh, TV series Enterprise. This is the first 1357 scale I'll be doing, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I know that people have said there are some issues with the nacelles not lining up right or having a little twist to them. And so I've been watching some YouTube videos on that to see if I could find out how to untwist that. The one thing I did notice is that it seems like the people who are doing the videos didn't have that issue, but we'll see. Also, something I did notice is that most of the builds I've seen are older builds, and they're, use, they're using the model that was in a red-colored box with just kind of drawing art, where this is a different uh, box with pictures of the model and some a nicer... Uh, box. Now, I don't know if that means they just replaced the box art or did they make some fixes to the model and this is the uh, repopped version with those fixes. The one thing I did notice was that the bases are different. The uh, base in the red box one is a uh, silhouette of the Enterprise and in this one it was this traditional polar lights uh, uh, round base. So let's get going. As I was saying earlier, some of the folks said that they had issues with their uh, NX-01 build. So one of the guys on, uh, I believe it was the model shop uh, group that I uh, belong to, that's uh, Boyd Compton's group, uh, sent me this uh, cheat sheet. And it uh, looks like it's going to be a lot, of, a lot of helpful hints. And they discuss uh, the... Uh, some of the issues I've, I've heard of people having a hard time getting the nacelles to come together without a big gap. And also how to fix the, uh, the nacelles uh, leaning to one side. What I thought interesting on that uh, page was is that the response comes from somebody at Polar Lights. And so that's why I'm, I'm still thinking that quite possibly this one has a fix to fix that problem that the uh, one of the red box didn't. So I'm going to give these a good looking over. And again, one of the reasons I, I like the modeling communities I belong to is they're always, folks are always willing to give you their opinions and give you some help. And again, this guide's really going to come out help. So um, I really thanks uh, for sending it to me. For this build, I'm going to be using some uh, photo etch part, some decals for the photo etch part, and also some uh, lighting boards, and also uh, some sound with this one. So the uh, lighting board I got here, this is from Tenet Controls, and it's the Combo A board, which includes the spinning nacelles, nav lights, the uh, and uh, I believe the strobe lights also. I've also gotten the uh, lighting board and sound board for the phase cannons and photon torpedoes. So along with the lights, when those go off, you'll see the flash like of the torpedoes and you'll hear the sounds of those going off. So I'm really looking forward to those. And again, Ralph does uh, really great work with uh, his boards. On the photo etch, a lot from what I'm seeing, a lot of the photo etch here is mostly adding details inside the, uh, the ship. So there'll be some modifications I will need to do on the outside, uh, on the uh, hull itself, so you can see those. And these are the decals that go on top of those photo wedge to give them more realism. And these are from HGA Model Works. And those guys do a great job. And I just want to say both him, uh, both HGA and Tenet Controls have great customer support. And I'll put the links at the end of this video. But I recommend if you guys need lighting and want to... Uh, do things like PE and decals that, and also for, for other lighting that you look at uh, HDA Model Works. Uh, both those great customer service, quick shipping, and good prices. So this is the base that came with the kit in the red box, and I will be using this as part of my base. The plan I have for this is I'm going to cast this in a clear resin and then add lights. When I'm ready to work on the base, I'll do a separate video for that so that you can see how that goes. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you'll enjoy watching the video and watching me build this as much as I enjoy building it. Thank you and happy modeling.